Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to have the first tasting of my all grain batch rye IPA 5. I've done four other others. Uh, I'll link a card if you want to go check those out. I like that spicy beer. Um, that rye I think adds that spiciness that I like. Not too much, not too little. And I think the Chinook usually plays well with it. I do get more like citrus out of Chinook. But so far in these I think it's worked well. So this is a small batch. I did do a brew day video for the Rye IPA. If you want to check that out, it'll also be in the playlist card. Um, so this one, two pounds, one ounce of pale malt, which I, I still think, and on all these, I, I'm pretty sure I used two row. So I don't know where I got the pale malt, but the original recipe did call for pale, and I'll link that down below too, or you can go check out the Brew Day video, which I'll have it linked. But I'm thinking I forgot to change that in these, and because I know I've said it more than once that uh, it's pale malt when I've been using two row. So two pounds, one ounce of two row, 5.5 ounces of white wheat, 5.5 ounces of rye malt, 3.7 ounces of flaked rye. Now, I did change the, the caramel to the wheat because I ran out of the caramel. So we will be doing some more batches uh, in the future that will bring that caramel back in. Also, I've been making some more batches, not rye IPAs, but more batches with um, that Cara malt in there. For the hop schedule, uh, 0.28 ounces of Mosaic at 60, 0.28 ounces of Chinooks at 5, 0.28 ounces of Mosaic at 5 minutes also. Then for the dry hop, we're going to do 0.24 ounces of Mosaic, 0.12 ounces of Chinook, 0.12 ounces of Citra. Now that will be three days into fermentation, so that would be dry hopped for seven days. I let my beers go 10 days. Usually after day one, like a full 24 hours, uh, that yeast will start going. This did use uh, USO5 yeast. Then three days, so from the start, to active fermentation, I would say is three days. And then I will add the dry hops for that seven. Um, on the other ones, Centennial and Chinook were used as the main hops. And I wanted to switch it up just to see how that um, Mosaic Citra would play with a spicier beer. I do believe in five or in version four, I didn't like it as much, which you might get uh should fruit go with spice like a spiced rye probably not but hey you never know this is home brewing uh bottled on five six eight point eight percent abv this did use seven carbonation tabs okay hiss not that big don't see a lot of smoke or anything on there it's showing this was bottled one i actually started putting the bottle numbers uh, on there because I do uh, keg or bottle directly out of the fermenter. So I wanted to see how much trube and uh, hot particles are going into the beer. So this is one. So from the pour, off-white, almost a tannish color head on there. Small, medium bubbles. Uh, most of the bubbles are very, very fine. Uh, almost looks like a pillow. About a half a finger of head on there. Color, very hazy. Um, uh, it almost looks oxidized, but I, it does look like the Beersmith picture. So I'll say it's not. More like dirty orange color. Like a brown orange color very hazy i can't see it i can't see the light box or anything let's go ahead and smell i definitely get more fruitiness um uh, more like sweet fruitiness but there is a spice character in the back of it
Yeah, just like a sweet fruit with a hint of spice. Maybe some some malt coming out of there. Almost like it could be a little older. If anything, this is young, a month old. Uh, but yeah, that it, it's definitely a different smell than I remember from the other batches. So let's go ahead and try it. You get that multi rye in there. Um, that juicy fruit is like intertwined with that multi rye spice in there. Uh, big burst of like bitterness on the back. Even the aftertaste, you get a little bit, I almost want to say like multi syrup in a double IPA, uh, but it is mixed with that bitterness and a little bit of fruit. I don't know, it's almost like it's overdone in the bitterness, but I don't know if it's from that spicy rye in there. Um, okay, it's the bitterness. Uh, I did write it down on here. Uh, this one was supposed to be 92.9 IBUs. It, it's very bitter. It's big bitterness. But like to the from the front of the palate to almost the end of the palate, it does that rye reminds me of the other versions, but then it's like that bitterness just really takes over. Um, the aftertaste now that my mouth is warming up, I do get a little bit more sweet fruit. Uh, but also that malty bitter, that maltiness, uh, like syrup is in there mixed with that bitterness. It's just weird. It's like that, that fruit shouldn't be there. Um, it is a double IPA at 8.8 .8 and almost a hundred IBUs. Um, but that, that mixture of that sweet syrup malt with that bitterness and then that sweet fruit, my, like my brain doesn't think that should go together. Like it should be more, I don't know why, citrus. I don't know. Um, last time I had a big double IPA. But yeah, it, it's almost like that fruit shouldn't be there, at least in my eyes. Um, I think it works well. Uh, I, I think more Chinook, more Centennial probably would have been better in this. But again, I don't know if the last double IPA I had was more citrus and that's why I'm thinking of that. Or that, that Chinook and Centennial does give a lot of citrus, grapefruit citrus, and that helps. And I'm just not used to a fruity, big, malty, bitter double IPA. Smooth. I think it's good. Would I make it again? I think if I made it again, I would have to cut down on that mosaic. 92 IBUs. Um, I don't think it works. I do think it's covering up um, some of that rye. Um, a little too much in there. And I think it's just it's gonna wreck your palate with how much bitterness is there. Like probably if you took out the rye, it might be a different ball game because I do know there's rye in here. I don't know if somebody would be able to pick out that there's rye. Yeah, I, th I think that, that maltiness really covers it up. But as I said at the beginning, I do, it has that same characteristics as the other uh, batches of the Rye IPA. So I think that's why I'm picking it out. But I don't, because of that big um, bitterness bomb you get in the back, I don't know if anybody would know that there's Rye in here. But we'll see how it ages. Uh, I do have three more and we will be doing some side-by-sides with the other batches. So if you like this video and want to check out more, check them out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.